The goal is that students leave this course um, with a skill set that can automatically get them a paycheck in the real world. With this program, it is gonna offer students the capability to learn and, and grow skills in the television field, the audio field, the lighting field, the editing field, um, and storytelling, uh, whether it be news pieces or documentary film or narrative film. But that is our main goal here, and students have the capability to really thrive and enjoy and get out of a classroom setting and into a project-based uh, classroom. Uh, debate and Forensics is a program that uh, really encourages students to do the best that they can that is driven by them. Uh, so debate is argumentation, uh, going ahead and writing cases based off of topics uh, where you go ahead and you compete against another student uh, in terms of uh, rationale, uh, logic, use of evidence, persuasion. And then forensics actually is competitive, competitive speaking and acting. So a student goes ahead and can compete against other students by giving a dramatic performance or a humorous performance or even something that kind of looks like a TED talk about something that you're passionate about. Um, we go to roughly about 11, 12 different competitions a year and we're actually very good at what we do. So that's kind of what we do in debate and forensics. Hey, I'm Mr. Chastain. I'm going to talk to you just for a minute about the drones program at DTSOI. It's a three to four year program. Students learn the fundamentals of aeronautics and the history of drones and flight. Students focus on learning what the FAA, the Federal Aviation Administration, requires to become a licensed drone pilot. We train all year long in order to be able to pass the federal examination. So I hope that gives you a good rundown of what the drones program at DTSOI looks like. EAST is an acronym for Education Accelerated by Service and Technology. Here at Don Tyson, most of our EAST students choose one of two pathways to work on in EAST. One of those pathways could be developing skill sets that they previously do not have or maybe advancing said skill sets, such as Adobe products, coding or programming. Um, VR creation, 360 tours would be a few things that some of our students may be interested in as they come in. We also have a lot of animation, drawing, and music interest with many of our students coming into EAST. EAST is a great way for you to choose something that you want to learn more about and it gives you the opportunity to use technology programs, hardware and software that you might not otherwise have available to you. So the Advertising and Graphic Design program has three different steps, Fundamentals, Intermediate, and Advanced. In the Fundamentals course, students learn the basics of Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign, and Adobe. And they're really just learning the basics of photo manipulation. The students will actually take their certification test and become Adobe Certified Associates, which looks great on a resume and if they want to go into the industry. In the intermediate class, students go more into depth in those programs and they'll add on several more programs in Adobe. The advanced class is very project-based and we strive for community outreach, so the students are working with clients and companies and businesses within our community to help meet their advertising needs. This is the Industrial Technology Lab, and uh, what we do is we share with the students uh, many skills that will provide them a good paying job in the future, such as electrical, electronics, uh, computers, pneumatic, hydraulics, three-phase motors. We have another lab next door, which is for metal fabrication and welding, which teaches uh, stick, MIG, and TIG welding. Uh, many of them had never really touched any tools of any type, so they've, they've come a long way in a short period of time. So my name is Chip Olson, and I am the diesel technology teacher here. So the, you know, basically our intent in a nutshell is that you come and spend a year with us and you're going to leave here and go straight into the career field. That manufacturer is going to pick up your training where we left off and continue to train you at their expense and not yours. We're, we're trying to make it as cost free as possible to get students in a very good paying career job. So 
I'm really excited about the culinary program here at Don Tyson School of Innovation. We have three different factors that go into it. We have uh, pre-culinary or introduction to culinary, which can start in about eighth grade. We do go into food safety, which is important for any food service professional. And then we go into the basics and principles of traditional French cooking. And we learn everything from soups and sauces to proper techniques, knife cutting. And then for the culinary arts part two, and that actually includes an internship uh, in the uh, marketplace. We have a great partnership with our agriculture, agriculture program um, and we can tie into just about every other subject. So if you ever want to come and see how mathematics and science all work together um, with the art of culinary arts, this is the place for you. Welcome to Springdale Today.